Hey folks, in today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing and first look at the Gigabyte Gaming OC RX 5700 XT. The AMD RX 5700 XT is a well-rated card with very price competitive performance, 8GB VRAM and PCIe 4.0 support. And the Gigabyte version, called the Gaming OC card, is well rated for its good low noise performance with high thermal performance. At the time of purchase, this card was $420 on Newegg and $390 after a $30 mail-in rebate. Although it's sold out currently, once it's back on sale, this is a very highly rated card. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Packaging there. Wow, this thing is very big. The packaging itself, at least. So we'll pull this out. So you get this nice packaging there. And some HelloFresh advertisement. All right. This here is what we really care about. So this card comes in an enormous package. Um, I'm assuming the card is nowhere near this big, although I've never really handled a full-size graphics card like this, so I'm not really sure. But let's get breaking into this thing here. So it comes with RGB Fusion, which is just the Gigabyte logo. You can change the RGB colors with some different effects and also just keep it a constant color. You've got those three fans, and this is the overclocking edition, which can overclock to 1795 megahertz over the stock speed of 1755 and 1905 megahertz for the boost clock. All right, so opening this up here, we we'll just slide that out. All right, so you go from some very overwhelming packaging to some very sleepy packaging in here. It says Gigabyte on this black package. And then opening this up, we expose more packaging. This is kind of a Russian nesting doll experience here. And finally, after removing this, which I assume includes the instructions and probably some warranty information, you reveal the card and its anti-static protection film. So, this really is quite a decent sized card. Although, of course, nowhere near the size of the full packaging, thanks to the protective materials all around it. But let's break this thing out and see what it looks like outside of the packaging. All right, so we're gonna open this thing up here. This is very exciting. out here. Got a Gigabyte certified sticker there. Assume that means it passed all the quality control tests before being shipped. And then you are left with just the graphics card here. So there's the back plate, it says Gigabyte there. That is the Gigabyte logo which should light up in RGB there. You've got your tri-fan design. This fan spins in this direction this one in this direction, so that the intermediary air goes in one direction and is not in conflict. And the same here, these fans spin in a direction that pushes the air in between the fans down so that there's not a bunch of airflow issues there. And yeah, this is a very hefty card. You can see here, I'll try to make it parallel with the camera angle here, you have, um, a lot of thermal connections and pads here underneath, which should do a good job of keeping this card cool as it's rated. And that's the Gigabyte Gaming OC card. So with that, let's move on to the installation of this card. 
The first step will be to remove the two back shrouds to allow the graphics card to sit in place. This entails removing one screw from each of the shrouds. One of them is going to be at the level of the PCI slot you're using and one of them will be below it. And you're going to want to use the topmost PCI slot for the most open lanes. In my case, it also helps to remove the back plate for upright GPU mounting, which is just a couple thumb screws at the back here. Next, you'll simply insert the GPU into that topmost PCI slot that you opened up the back plates for, and then just reinsert those two screws that you used for the back plates. And last but not least, you're going to want to hook up the graphics card to your PSU. For me, I used a 6 plus 2 pin for the 8 pin portion and another 6 plus 2 pin with the 2 pin simply sitting in the middle for the 6 pin portion. This may differ based on what PSU you're using but generally that's going to be the best approach. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and comment on this video and subscribe to stay tuned for future content.